Okay, this video is going to be a little bit different compared to my other videos. Today I am deep cleaning. It is about to be Christmas time. We are going to get new toys and it is time to clean. I have a four and a six year old who destroy the house on a regular basis. I really pride myself on trying to be organized. So I'm going to go over a few things on what I do to help myself and my family stay as organized as possible. Okay, I am sitting in my son's room right now. I am doing a deep cleaning of his room and my daughter's room. And I got these really cool LED lights off of Amazon. And I'm going to put them underneath the beds, hopefully. I bought these loft beds for both of my kids when they got a little bit older and transitioned out of like the toddler beds because I didn't want a full size bed. I wanted something with like space underneath, but honestly they tend to not like playing underneath their bed as much, which is fine, but they have enough space in their room to play, but they don't always like find the toys I think as easily because there's not as much light, like they can't see. So I'm gonna put these lights underneath and I hope that they are decent. When I clean, I try and pick a place to start first. I have chosen the hallway because it made the most sense to take everything that is the kids, throw it in the buckets that they go in, and then kind of put stuff that belongs in each room in that room and then go inside and deep clean. I am going into all of the rooms gathering up some laundry because I think this is the most favorite part of my house. I built a laundry chute. This goes directly into my garage right in front of my washer and dryer and it is so convenient. I don't have to take laundry up and down the stairs and I just loved this project so much. I do work a full-time job and so does my husband. I work hybrid so sometimes I'm in the office sometimes I'm not so the house does not always get the full attention that it deserves. I usually deep clean my kids' rooms about once a week on Fridays after I get off of work. Um, my son goes to my in-laws on Fridays and my daughter is in school so it's the one day that I don't have kids at home bugging me while I'm trying to clean their room and maybe potentially throwing stuff away that I shouldn't. My kids' rooms get very dirty, but it honestly maybe takes me 15 to 20 minutes to just focus on their room and get it clean because I try and keep it very organized with buckets and a system of everything has a place to make it easy for me to clean or my kids to clean or even my husband to clean who, which he doesn't normally clean, but he could easily figure out that like, oh, Legos go in this bucket, tracks go in this bucket, Barbies go in this bucket to make it very easy. Um, I try and stay very organized because I feel like it's just easiest for our family. I only have hardwood floors in my entire house and I have three large dogs and two little gremlins who leave crumbs everywhere. So I try and vacuum as I go because I always find dust bunnies everywhere. Personally, I feel like there are two types of cleaners, maybe two types of moms, but you have the moms who find it a little bit harder to find the want to organize or the urge to clean. And then you have the moms who maybe go a little bit too overboard and they have a little bit of OCD and stuff is overly organized. They get upset when things are dirty, you know, dishes are dirty, stuff like that. But what I try to do for myself and my family is find a balance. I am very organized, but I understand that my children, my husband, they are not going to be as organized as I am. And I try to give everybody and myself a little bit of grace throughout the day and the week because things are busy and we're all tired, we're all humans, and it's just important to remember that at the end of the day. My puppy, Lizzie, 
is a St. Bernard. She is seven months old and she is making an appearance. She likes to follow me around. Like I said earlier on Fridays, my son goes to my mother-in-law's and then my daughter is in school. So normally on Fridays, that's my day that I clean. That's the day that mentally I know that I'm going to put effort into the house. But as you can see, my son is home, he's running around, he's trying to help, he's interested in what I'm doing, and it is making it very hard. Thankfully, these lights were very easy to set up. They just came with a little plug and there were two strips. I ended up only using one strip per bedroom, so maybe if I decide I wanna add more lights in the future, I can do that for each of them but it turned out really cute. It definitely added a little bit of light to their room. At night, they can use them when they go to sleep as a nightlight. I don't mind, my kids are not a fan of the dark. They end up coming in our room when things are dark, so whatever I can do to keep them in their own rooms is a good thing for me. As you can see, my son is now willing to play in his room because it is clean and is organized. They enjoy a clean space to play in. I am now going to move on to my daughter's room. My daughter's room always takes me significantly more time than my son's room does. I don't know if it's just because girls tend to have more toys and boys toys are very easy to organize and it's just cars and tracks but my daughter has a million different types of dolls and stuffed animals and little toys but cleaning her room can be a lot more of a hassle now that she is older i do try and encourage her to clean her own room and keep it organized but it does not always work out the way that i planned when it comes to cleaning and organizing a tip that I like to tell people or a tool is if it doesn't have a place, then you need to either find a place for it or you need to throw it out or donate it. When you have a place, it's easier to clean. You can clean quicker, but if you don't know where the item goes, it ends up floating around all over the place and it's just not helpful for anybody. I am lucky enough that I am the type of person that does genuinely enjoy cleaning and organizing and I know that not every other mom or person, dad, is like that. For some people, they just do not find cleaning enjoyable. I did decide to also put my kids' names on the back of their remotes with this sticker. Since they are identical remotes, I know that they are going to get lost and then they're gonna get confused on who's who's. So I did create their names with my Cricut and I just stuck it on the back real quick to make it cute and personal. I might also add a piece of Velcro to the back so I can stick it to their side of the bed on their loft beds. This is another easy way to make sure that something even as small as a remote has a place where you can put it and you can easily find it. My YouTube channel is new and I'm creating a bunch of different things because I am just that type of person. I like doing crafts, but I also like cleaning. I also work full time. I am genuinely all over the place. One of my goals with my YouTube channel is to help people. I am interested in hearing people's opinions on maybe what types of crafts they want to see me do, what type of home renovations I have done, or some of my cleaning and organization hacks. So if you are interested, please comment down below and let me know something that you'd like to see maybe. Subscribe and follow along for more. This cleaning is something that I do weekly and I think it turned out great and my children love it so much.